get it for the schools, colleges. To understand Krishna is very difficult job. Krishna has personally said in the Bhagavad Gita, Manusanam Sahasreshu Kaschit Jatati Siddha. Out of many, many millions of persons, not only at this age, in the past also, Manusanam Sahasreshu, out of many millions of persons, Kaschit Jatati Siddha. One is trying to become perfect. Generally, they have no knowledge what is perfection. Perfection they do not know. The perfection means to stop this process of birth, death, old age, and disease. That is called perfection. Everyone is trying to be perfect, but they do not know what is perfection. Perfection means this, that when you are free from these four imperfections, what is that? Birth, death, old age, and disease. Everyone, nobody wants to die, but there is forcefully, you must die. That is imperfect. But these rascals, they do not know. They think that we must die, but no. Because you are eternal. You are not meant for death. But nature is forcing you. Must that. Supreme being full with six kinds of opulences, therefore he attracts everyone. This is the definition of the word Krishna. This Bhagavad Gita is spoken by Krishna, the perfect person, the pains and pleasure. On account of this material body, we have to feel. But if we come to the spiritual platform, that is, understanding of the soul, then in any condition we shall be happy. Another question? Yes, sir. Do you consider your movements the major form of enlightenment emanating from the United States today. <laughs> what, what order of priority has your movement in the White House Psychological Warfare Department? <laughs> and and will, also, will you also be coming along to our July 4 demonstration again this year to try and pop it up and divert people away from taking up real political issues concerned with Australian right, We can answer one, one at a time. I can answer them for you if you like. Uh, our movement is not coming from the United States. If you have, if you have, if you have some paranoid uh, uh, stigma about uh, everything coming from the United States, well, that's your hang-up, not mine. Uh, second of all, our spiritual master, uh, he came to the United States to start this Krishna consciousness movement, 
Uh, because he got a because he got a free if he got a free ticket on the boat to go there, and because it was the mercy of this one lady who gave him the free ticket on the boat, he came to America to uh, on the orders of his spiritual master. Uh, this is the reason he came to America to start Christian consciousness. If you had sent him a free ticket, he probably would have come to Australia first. Uh, he was a monk. He was a monk, a penniless monk in in, in India. And he was trying to follow the orders of his spiritual teacher by spreading love of God. Some people would say that Krishna consciousness is uh, too austere. Huh? Too austere. Yes. It should be taken in stages. What is that austere? Austerity. Huh? You are starving? <laughs> we say don't eat meat. Is that a very good austerity? No, that is the easiest. Okay. To give up. There, no illicit sex. We don't say no sex. Illicit sex. Huh? So, uh, what is the austerity? Well, the devotees, they must rise early in the morning. Yeah. Take cold bath. That is that is healthy. <laughs> because early to rise, early to early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy and wise. <laughs> <laughs> what to speak of early life, I practical I don't sleep at night. Only two hours. I still I work in the early in the morning. What is the wrong then? You know I I don't sleep at night. One big jungle. Yes, and then take on hold on. What is that? It's just sweater. Hmm? It's just sweater and hat. So, how is it all right? This is Krishna. Give them these flowers. Hey, I can distribute this uh not school? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>